Greatness is not something that is turned on and off like a light switch. Great teams have great character over and over and over again, consistently. Character is created by habits. Whether that be bad habits, average habits, good habits. Those habits is gonna create the character that you're gonna have, that this team is gonna have. So think about that for a second. Think about our team for a second, our character. This past off-season, members of the Northwestern football team created and organized a fundraising event under the newly formed student group, Wishmakers on Campus. Hey, Izzy, do I look like I'm from the theater? <laughs> I think it all fitted very well. Because <laughs> I just want to... Back a little further. I don't want to, like, I want to skip kind of, like, the beginning part, part if, it's, if there's a lot of music in the intro. And then do you know all the, you know all the, song, the sound stuff? Yeah. you go with all that? Yeah. It's all kind of out of order though, is that? That's cool, I, I got it now. Okay, okay, cool. Oh man, it's showtime, yeah. it's all about showtime. Thank you all for coming out tonight to beautiful Ryan Auditorium for the Wishmakers on Campus inaugural Wish Night in Evanston. The group, led by running back Chad Hana Oka, is dedicated to raising awareness for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. I've heard so many stories about Make-A-Wish and the true impact it has on children uh, and their families' lives. And I really wanted to do more with my time here at Northwestern and my platform as a Division I football player. I don't have enough people here for one of the acts, so I might have to do a, a little switch around. So we'll see. We'll keep you posted. Could you guys stall in between? It's a little bit like cut your ear, but it's not that bad. One day more! athlete community and the general student body uh, come together for one night uh, for this one great cause um, and to really be able to bring in that wish family that we had share um, and to share their story to really make it a personal uh, thing for not only the people in the audience but for us behind the scenes who have been working tirelessly for the past several months to put this show together uh, just really um, put the icing on the cake I think so been a while since I saw your face Glow like a flame, you were my hiding spot inside this place Five years all accounted for nothing I searched the moon to a, a flume if I could end up with something A few tears later I try and calibrate Everything inside of me compressed until I try to break Through to the rhythm my Christian tendencies dominate you were the one that I figured would always culminate Feelings and emotion of passion, I guess I have to wait For another, seek me another lover I'm lost in this world and trying to uncover The things that we used to have, my lover I got it. Low bridge, huh? Yeah. With just days remaining before the 2017 opener, Pat Fitzgerald still makes some time to step off the field and into the freezer, handing out ice cream to students and staff on Northwestern's Chicago campus. Meanwhile, Fitzgerald's Wildcats are being served more than just dessert. What's up? I thought this was the defensive crew, man. Uh, you switch I, positions? I have to I'm do that. What's up, guy? Prior to the start of each season, the team returns to a familiar house not far from campus for dinner. Uh, 
contest on this side. Appreciate it. Take care of you. That's how we do around here. We serve each other. Brother, where you miss? Thank you. Look, happy time. But my dad would always say one of the nicest things you could do for somebody is open your house for a meal to them, bring them over, and thanking them for what they've done in your life. Because I'm really proud of you, really proud of you, and what you represent in college athletics. I mean, you represent the best of the best. I'm ready for this dinner, baby. Oh. <laughs> I got to get it. As the Wildcats returned that evening, they were met by senior cornerback Keith Watkins II, who spent the previous year working his way back to the field after an injured knee cost him his 2016 season. His other knee will cost him all of 2017. When we got off the bus and got a chance to see him, um, he let us know the news and it was devastating. Um, I, to the point where I had to just turn around and I couldn't even look at him because I knew it was just, it was just a really unfortunate circumstance. Um, but out of that moment came um, some positive. We, we took the time to just, as brothers, uh, just pray, pray for Keith, pray for one another as, you know, we're all part of Sky Team and all take different roles within it. But, you know, now with Keith, uh, unfortunately gonna have to battle injury again, to come back, uh, we're gonna need someone else to step up. Final preparations are being made on the field with one final message to be delivered from this week's honorary captain. I know you guys have the trust yourself, and which is awesome. Uh, one of the keys to my success was kind of judge yourself, which is just another iteration of that. And so for me, judging myself is that I don't care about anything else around me. It's all in my head, it's all between my two ears. So go one and oh tomorrow, kick some butt, do great, and go Cats! Yeah! yeah. All right, get in the middle, brother. All right, hey, let's go, man. Let's go, this is our house, all right? This is our house, let's go. Let's get it started off the right way, man. Here we go. One, oh, three, one, two, three, win! win. With the new season underway, the Cats were off and running. The home opener against Nevada started just as planned, with the new faces on the defense settling into their first collegiate game and team veterans picking up right where they left off. Fake by Dorson, lots of time. He's going towards the end zone. Touchdown! Macon Wilson, beautiful throw from Clayton Dorson. Right on the money. A 33-yard touchdown pass. And the Wildcats have scored their first points of 2017 and 6 nothing. On the ground on second down, big hole. Jackson can't get it. The Wolfpack recovered quickly with 17 unanswered points. 
leaving Pat Fitzgerald and team leaders needing a response of their own. They would head to the locker room, trailing by two scores. Okay, somewhere in the second quarter, we stopped attacking. Let's get on the attack, all right? Attack their ass, start with the bomb squad and defense. Junior quarterback Clayton Thorson's career day set the tone for the Wildcats in the second half. Thorson sets up shot, throws, caught, touchdown! Diving in for the score, Riley Lease. Making the catch of the 45 of Skoranek. Snap to Thorson, makes the give, going deep down the right sideline for Macon Wilson. He got it! What a catch! First down, goal to go for the Wildcats. How did he get that ball? Great team win, man. We came in here down two scores. We walk in here victorious by two scores, okay? So do you think the running was worth it? Okay, you think the effort was worth it? No doubt about it. No doubt about it, absolutely. The effort level you put in, paid off in the second half. Because a year ago, that, did, that outcome didn't happen, okay? So now hopefully we can move on and learn that we've got to put together four quarters of football. With a total of 19 Wildcats making their on-field debuts in the 2017 season opener against Nevada, it's evident that recruiting is as important as ever. Well, I'm in a different city every day, so I'll typically fly out Sunday or Monday and go to an area where we have a young man committed and uh, get an opportunity to get into his school, visit with he, his coach. It's probably the third time that I've been here with you. Would you agree with Rashawn? We saw him first time, probably this time last year. Yep. Uh, when we identified that he was a really good player with good grades and, and interest. Rashawn Slater saw his first snaps in week one. Eight months prior, he saw his future coaches knock on his door. Fired up. I want to see Rashawn Slater. Here we go. I'd say it was kind of intimidating because you know, like, that's your coach. But it always still feels like you're trying to make a first impression still. But he, he always, just like, the second he walks in, there's a ton of energy in the room. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a, a long, long process that, you know, our coaches do a great job finding the right fit. Uh, by working through what we value and who we believe we are. And the number one reason why we've been successful is because of our young man. And we want to make sure we keep that, that culture in the locker room sacred and special. And, and uh, they're the ones that own it. And it's, it's important that we continue to, to keep that moving in the right direction. For Slater, the journey from being a recruit to becoming a Wildcat and finally contributing on Saturdays is still ongoing. As preparations for the next game begin, there's no time to reflect with a familiar foe on the horizon. Coach has said repeatedly this week, uh, for guys whose first game was Nevada, our first game problems are over now, so that's not an excuse anymore. So I'm ready to improve every single week. I'm looking to build on my performance last week, and all the reps I got in camp were really helpful because every day I'm going against Big Ten defensive linemen, so when it comes to game time, I'm used to it. They're really good friends with their head guy, and I got a ton of respect for them. And I know you guys do too. But we've been sharpening a sword for this opportunity. And there's two ways to go through life, man. Either you're the hunter or you're the hunted. On the hunt, on the attack. It starts when we leave here today. All right? I want to see energy, I want to see enthusiasm, I want to see physicality and execution. Uh, you know, we took our whole off season to prepare for today. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to take advantage of all the work that we've put in and, and um, take advantage of this beautiful Chicago weather that we have down here. All right, thanks. Good luck. Thanks, buddy. Go Cats. The Wildcats traveled to North Carolina for their low non-conference road game at a showdown against Duke. We only get 60 minutes. Let's go unleash this. What do you say? Yeah! 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 
the third consecutive season. This game would be a physical one. He's taken down for a loss on the play. Who else? Tyler Lancaster. After trading shots in field position, the Wildcats would start the scoring. But the Duke offense found its stride and snatched momentum, scoring three straight touchdowns. Northwestern continued to fight in an attempt to get the game back within reach. A five-yard touchdown by Justin Jackson with under a minute to play cut into the Blue Devil lead before the half. Uh, so when, when he's not blitzing, when they're not blitzing, he's just coming up like one yard beyond the line of scrimmage and trying to take his there. You know what I mean? So I'm the guy next to you right now. This is the guy that you've been working with. This is the guy that you've been working with. The guy who's been getting you better. I know you're not going to let that guy next to you down. So right now, 30 minutes, the guy next to you. Yeah. the guy next to you. Yeah. the guy next to you. Yeah. We've been here before. Let's go. One, oh, three. One, two, three. Let's go. Let's go. And Mike, this might be the most important defensive series for Northwestern. If they can limit what the Blue Devils can do, limit their explosive plays to start this third quarter, that's going to add to what they did this, to end the first half. Looking to continue the momentum build up before the half, Northwestern had opportunities, but the game started to slip away. Turnovers and stalled drives plagued the Wildcat offense for the remainder of the day. Duke continued to put up points, and the final Wildcats touchdown of the day came too late. And the Northwestern Wildcats fall to one and one. As the Blue Devils, after spotting the Cats an early three nothing lead, took control of the game and built that lead to 28 points. And they win it 41, 17, your final score. Because they obviously wanted a lot more than everybody that's in purple and white right now. That starts with me. So I promise you this, I'm gonna work my butt off to get that fixed for you. Now I want you guys to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, what can I do to personally improve? What can I do to help this football team get better? And if we all do that, we will get better. There's no magical formula, guys. They out hit us, they out executed us. Like I said, they out coached us. So can we solve all those problems? Absolutely. Only if we learn from it, grow from it, and come together. It is hard to win, guys. Hard to win. We're gonna do a better job together, though, aren't we? Let's do a better job together. So take care of your body, hydrate. We're gonna work on this, but we gotta to stick together. We could, we could really be a really good team, like a great team, a championship team. Because we're trying to build something here. We're trying to build a, a program. We're trying to build a tradition. But it starts right now. It starts with tomorrow's practice. It starts with tonight's meetings. And if you just keep working, like Coach said, consistency every day, we could really be something special. That's probably enough.